Confused of what breed and class to choose? How many points do you allocate in your attributes and resistance? This guide will give you some tips and a little trick as you begin your journey in Biomutant. Hello guys, this is Genuine Gaming, giving you tips and some tricks in the character creation of Biomutant. Breed The first thing you're going to choose is your breed. There are six different kinds of breed. Primal, Dumdun, Rex, Hyla, Fip, and Murgal. The primal breed is pretty much balanced. One thing to note, it has the highest crit chance, which is 4%, together with the Murgal breed. Dumdun has the highest bonus in melee damage and a little bonus in vitality. This breed is great for melee builds. The Rex breed have the highest bonus on health and a solid intellect stats. If you want to use your Wungfu skills and your mutated abilities, this breed is good for you as it gives you an additional bonus to power. This attribute influences the damage of your Wungfu, biogenetics, and Psi power abilities. The Hyla breed has the highest armor and health bonus. However, they have the lowest stat on intellect. They also have the lowest crit chance. They are best for builds that use often the two-handed melee weapons. The FIP breed has the highest power, key energy, and energy regen. This breed is best for builds that uses mutated and psi power abilities. The Merkle breed has the best barter stat, crit chance, and loot chance. If you just want to collect items in the game, this breed is for you. But in general, I would suggest to choose your breed for aesthetic purposes. Anyway, as you go higher in level, the differences of each breed will become inconsequential because of the gears that you can get in the game. Attributes After choosing your breed, you're going to allocate your attributes points. There are six primary attributes. Vitality, Strength, Intellect, Charisma, Agility, and Luck. Each primary attribute governs a specific secondary stat, like Vitality is to Health and Armor, Strength is to Melee Damage, Intellect is to Power, Key Energy and Key Energy Regen, Charisma is to Barter, Agility is to Movement Speed, and Luck is to Crit Chance and Loot Chance. Health it is your life in the game. When it becomes zero, you will die. This amount increases as you level up and when your vitality attribute is improved. Your health regenerates slowly outside of combat and can be replenished with healing items. Armor Defines how much damage you take from enemy attacks. Melee Damage Stat It is the amount of melee damage you can deal. Power is used to define the amount of damage you deal with your Wungfu, Psi powers, and mutated abilities. Key Energy is used for all kinds of combat actions. All special attacks, Psi powers, and mutations cost energy to use. Your Key Energy regenerates automatically in and out of combat and can also be replenished with consumable items. Key Energy Regen defines how fast the key energy regenerates. Move speed defines your movement speed. Barter increases the amount of green, which is money, you earn from selling items as well as reducing the prices of items you want to purchase. Critical chance defines the chance of your attacks becoming critical hits, increasing their damage. Loot chance to find the chance of finding more items in higher quality and rarity. In the character creation, only the luck attribute cannot be changed. You can allocate 90 points in total. Do not mind on how you look. You can change it as you go forward in the game. Focus on the abilities you need. I would suggest that you focus on the damage that you will deal. That would be either strength or intelligence. If you go for a strength build, you can mix it with vitality. If you go for the intelligent build, focus on that attribute alone. 
resistances. After allocating your attribute points, you are going to assign points for your resistances. With regards to resistances, this is straightforward. Heat resistance refers to your resistance to hot environments. Biohazard resistance refers to your resistance to biohazardous environments. Cold resistance refers to your resistance to cold environments. Radioactivity resistance refers to your resistance to radioactive environments. Hypoxia resistance refers to your resistance to the dead zones. At the start of the game, your hypoxia resistance is zero. Your other resistances can be changed. One bonus tip in allocating resistances. If everything is equal, the total of your resistances is equivalent to 24%. That is, 6% in the four resistances. If you pull it towards one resistance like the heat resistance, your resistance will be 25%. However, if you place it on a sweet spot around 20%, the other resistances will be 2%, giving you a total of 26%. 2% more if you balance it out. Class Now the juicy part of character creation is choosing your class. When you choose a class, Choose a class for the perks that you need for your build. Every class has 5 class perks that is exclusive or shared by other classes. Do not mind the starting perk, weapon, or gears. Anyway, you can get to them when you play the game. The important thing is the class perk that you will need for your build. Dead Eye Starting Weapons 2-Handed Sword and Pistol Starting Perk Perfect Reload Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your net magazine is granted plus 20% damage. This is a general perk available for every class. Class Perks Crack Shot Non-automatic rifles inflict 20% more attack damage. Quick Load 25% reload time for ranged weapons. Sniper Non-automatic rifles have a 10% critical chance bonus. Gunslinger Dual wielded guns have 20% increased rate of fire. Sharpshooter Two handed guns inflict double damage. However, this is nerfed after 1.4 patch from multiplier of 2 to 1.25. This build is great for builds that uses non automatic rifles and builds that focuses solely on ranged weapons. A build idea would be Deadshot from the Suicide Squad, or you could also create your own sniper build. You can also build around Gunslinger perk and create a character like Jason Todd, also known as the Red Hood from DC Comics or Domino from the Marvel Comics. Commando Starting Weapons Automatic Rifle and 100 Melee Weapon. Starting Perks Fury. Ranged weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to target. This is also a class perk. Class perks. Stimulus. Your armor and damage from melee attacks is increased by 20% when your health drops below 20%. Adrenaline. Players' attack speed with melee weapons is increased by 10% when their health drops below 20%. Shock. Shotgun hits have a 5% chance to stun a small enemy per hit inflicted. Brutality Critical damage from ranged attacks is increased by 10%. This class is good for ranged builds that allow options to fight in close combat. It is nice to build a character around the commando's class per shock with fury and brutality. You could create your own terminator build you could also build around the class perks Fury and Brutality only. And create a build like the Punisher or create your own version of Rocket from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Cyphreak Starting Weapons Pistol and Spark Gloves Starting Perk Mega Mind. Your key energy regen is increased by 20%. This is also a class perk. Class Perk Nocturnal you have plus 10 intellect attribute at night. Mind Melt 
Power damage ability attacks have a 10% chance to inflict a critical hit. Size Spikes Power damage attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. Brain Drain Attacks that inflict power damage regenerates your health by 20%. This is essentially the Mage class. Cypherick also starts with the Spark Ball ability. This is basically the Mage in Bio Mutant. With the right mix of Aura, you can create your own Jedi or Sith build. Saboteur Starting Weapons Pistol and two one handed melee weapons. Starting Perk Hypergenetic Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. This is also a class perk. Class perks Reflexes Weapon based ranged attacks from enemies have a 10% chance to miss you. Agile Your dodge distance is increased by 20%. Moving target your basic movement speed is increased by 5% when in combat. Evasive. Your armor is increased by 20% while dodging and or in the air. This class is focused on dodging. This is great for those build who want to be quick-footed during combat. With this class, you can create your own ninja. Sentinel. Starting weapons, two-handed weapon and pistol. Starting perk. Toughness. Your base armor is increased by 10. This is also a class perk. Class perk. Medic. Health regen from items and in general is increased by 10%. Ricochet. An enemy's weapon range attack has a 10% chance to ricochet back and damage the attacker. Invincibility. Your armor and damage from melee attacks is increased by 20% when you're at full health. Knock. Dodging into a smaller enemy makes them stumble and fall. You can build a juggernaut out of this class. So far, this is the best class for melee-focused build. A build idea that I have for this class is to build around the knock perk, which makes you like a juggernaut. Bonus class. Mercenary. You get this class if you pre purchase the game. Starting weapons two one handed melee weapon and a pistol. Starting perks Fury. Melee weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to target. Twin Silver Grape. This is a melee dual wield skill that allows you to equip two different one handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Class Perks Megamind Your key energy regen is increased by 20% Reflexes Weapon-based range attacks from enemies have a 10% chance to miss you completely Invincibility Your armor and damage from melee attack is increased by 20% when you're at full health Brutality Critical damage from melee attack is increased by 10% Mercenary class is basically a melee build. So far, I would say it is the best class for melee build that focus on damage. While Sentinel is also a melee build but focused on tanking. Suggested builds for this class is Deadpool and Deathstroke. So that's about this character creation tutorial and tips. Hope this video is helpful. And if it does, please let me know in the comment box below or leave me a like. For more video game reviews and tips, please subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to click that bell button to always get notified every time I upload a video. See you in the next video. Ciao!